Hi, Mr. Larry. I got this letter here. Okay. Randy, I'm from South Central Pennsylvania in Fulton County. Pretty rural area. We have less than 15,000 people in the entire county. Two traffic lights in the entire county. My dad has a farm equipment dealership I grew up helping at the store. I'm a police officer by profession, but I do farm about 100 acres. We have 40 head of beef cattle, cattle and some pigs. I have a wife, Barb, and a son, Wyatt. A couple of years ago, 2018, I bought some old hit and miss up in, hit and miss engines up in Kansas near Topeka. What's a hit and miss engine? Old engines. Okay, that's Tractor. why they call them hit and miss? Yes, like an old John Deere. I told my son that we're going to make a family trip to pick them up, drop my trailer off at some friends in Conway, Missouri, then run down to Branson, Missouri for a couple of days. We watched Larry's Country Diner on RFD TV for years. My son sees you advertising Boot Daddy on the show. He was really excited that summer. The two things that my 10-year-old son wanted to do on our trip was go to Boot Daddy's, get a pair of cowboy boots, and go see the Presleys. Yeah. That's, a, that's a Branson act, for those of y'all who don't know. We stopped at your store, and someone greeted us as soon as we walked through the door. We chatted with the lady for a few minutes. I told her what we were here from Pennsylvania, and my son saw your advertising on Larry's Country Diner and that he wanted to buy a pair of cowboy boots at Boot Daddy's. She instructed us to look around a little bit, don't go too far, and that she was going to get you. I told her that she didn't need to do that, but she did it anyway. You came over, met us, and walked us around the boot area. Then you called for your son to come over. The two of you treated my son Wyatt like he was an old friend that you were happy to see again. I was amazed that you and your son took time to spend uh, time with my 10-year-old boy that you'd never met before uh, for a pair of boots. You talked to Wyatt about hit and miss engines, old tractors, and farming. You all sounded like a couple of old friends that hadn't been together for a while. I think you mentioned an old Ford or a Massey Ferguson tractor to Wyatt that you remembered growing up. Wyatt was 10 years old that summer. You really made a 10-year-old happy. He wore those Boot Daddy boots on special occasions and he showed a pig at the county fair for two years in a row wearing those boots from your store and a Swisher stick in his hand that came from the other building across the parking lot. Wyatt's boots did not fit anymore and he wanted to get another pair from Boot Daddy. For this year's family trip, I took an old 58 Dodge truck down to Eureka Springs. We picked up a truck, or I bought one. Uh, we picked up the truck and spent two nights in Branson. We stopped at Boot Daddy's again on my way home back to Pennsylvania. This year you waved at us as we pulled into your parking lot by the big tent. We had the old Dodge truck on the trailer. We came inside for Wyatt to see you again. You talked to us about the old truck that we bought. Farming, building fence, Purina, hit and miss engines, and going to the sheriff's funeral. Sorry for your loss. He seemed to be a very good man. Once again, you treated my son, now 12 years old, Wyatt, like an old friend while you fitted him for a pair of cowboy boots. I know you made a 12-year-old boy happy. I've attached a couple of pictures to share with you from 2018 and 2020. Anyway, thank you for making another good memory for my son. Take care. Shane Malott. Yeah, it was really cool. And that's what Larry's Country Diner family is about. It's really cool. Don't spin it to me now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about Branson. <laughs> I love it when cowboys cry, don't you? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's about the life. Anyway, let's talk about you coming to Branson October 5th through the 9th. Yep. And it's going to be, you've Clay got Cooper's a whole theater. lineup. Yep, got a good lineup. It's unbelievable. Um, you know, the people are coming out. Our Larry's Country Diner fans are filling up Branson, and we love everybody coming by the store. And, um, of course, you know, we have the bell. Got to ring the bell. We have the horseshoe contest going on where you guess the number of horseshoes and you win a $4,500 horse shopping spree. Horseshoes or horseshoe horse nails. nails. Horse, horse nails. $4,500 shopping spree. And now let's talk about boots. So this week we're highlighting Dan Post and Laredo. Uh, they're here in Clarksville, Tennessee is where their corporate headquarters are. And uh, we wanted to highlight a couple of things. These are two boots that actually faked me out. And I've been doing this almost 30 years, picking out... These are actually prints 
But re reptile, genuine reptile snake and alligator are really delicate skins. So you're seeing more and more tanneries come out with leathers that just blow your mind. So we picked up a couple of these, and we have them at bootdaddy.com. And then we had to bring along the tried and true zipper yep. boot that we sell so many of to our Larry's Country Diner fans. And you can find these at bootdaddy.com for sure this week. Absolutely, Larry. And I really appreciate you reading something like that. We see that day in and day out. Um, but there's all sorts of people that come in and they want to say hi. Yep. So uh, really appreciate that letter. And we appreciate everybody that comes in. So make sure to ring that bell so we know that you're a diner fan. You get that bottle of barbecue sauce and we'll take care of you. And uh, just come see us in, uh, in PFI in Springfield, Missouri at uh, Battlefield in 65. And it's a 100-year-old bell that needs about three or four socks put on it because it is so loud. Yeah, yeah right about it that. is it loud. It goes, echoes, and they grab that thing and ring it twice. <laughs> and we love it every bit. Okay. Absolutely. And there's your, there's your. Oh. Got to do the ending. I go blank when you do that. Uh, EFI, home of Boot Daddy in Springfield, Missouri. And thanks a bunch to all Larry's Country Diner fans that come by and coming to Branson.